So now we tension with a soft release from Land Cruising. And at first you just pre-tension the webbing. And I like to start with three layers of soft release. And then you just pull on the soft release very slowly at the beginning before you get some tension. And then you have to make sure that you're pulling in line with the soft release so it doesn't fold up on you and get tangled. And you just give it a few hard tucks. And usually that's enough for low stretch lines. And if you need more power, once you have some tension, you can add an additional wrap. Just go around once. Pull the rest through. Then continue pulling to get even more tension. And now this line is already really tight. Add another wrap. Like this. It gets increasingly difficult the higher your line is obviously. So try to have one anchor low maybe. And with five wraps, what I like to do, I get the Velcro. Push it through like in the manual. Then you trap all the layers with the Velcro. And I just place my hand on top. Pull it really tight, wrap the velcro around, close it, and now I tie this off with a proper knot. Fisherman's on top, cinch it up. There you go, now your soft release is done. One more backup for the entire thing. Alright, three. And the backup for the real line is obviously a double fisherman's. Pull it through. And now just get it right underneath the line. Cinch it to the tree and you're good to go. So if there's no tension on your surf release yet, don't pull on all five layers because you can easily create a, a mess that's hard to untangle. Instead, try to identify the lower layers, pull on those first, and then continue pulling layer by layer until you get some tension. And that way you don't mess up your surf release that badly. If you don't have a soft release with a stitched eye, you can just tie a double bowline instead of the soon loop.